When Seat Dance launched just last year, it was the very best AI video generator on the market. But over time, inevitably, new models came out and Seat Dance slowly took a backseat to some of the more popular models on the market, like Google VO and Kling. But Seat Dance 1.5 Pro has just launched with the added ability to do lip syncing and generate sound effects directly inside of the model. So in this video, we're going to take a look at Seat Dance 1.5 Pro and see how it stacks up against other AI video tools. Now, before we hop into the bulk of this tutorial, I wanna let you know you can download all of the video clips and reference images that we use inside of this video tutorial by clicking the link below this video. It's completely free for you and it allows you to follow along. Okay, let's keep going. Now, Seat Dance was created by ByteDance, the people behind TikTok, and there's quite a few different places that you can go to to generate video with Seat Dance. I'm actually going to use FreePick, which is my favorite online AI video aggregator, but you can use any tool you want. So to use the brand new version of Seed Dance, all you have to do is go to the video generator inside of your aggregator of choice. And then from there, we'll make sure we have Seed Dance 1.5 Pro selected. Now, right off the bat, there's a really cool feature because you have the ability to not only do start frame, but also end frame. So let's go ahead and grab our images here. So I have our first frame of this medieval blacksmith workshop here, and we'll go ahead and drag and drop that into our first frame section here. And for our last frame, we're going to select this close-up shot of a knight. We used Nano Banana Pro to prompt in the knight into this scene. So we'll go ahead and drag and drop that second image into the last frame section. So for our prompt, we'll say a tracking shot of a knight riding in on a horse from the left side of the screen. We want them to basically kind of walk into the frame. And then we'll say tracking in just to reinforce kind of the movement that we're looking for. Now, in terms of resolution, Seat Dance 1.5 Pro unfortunately can only generate up to 720p, so you will need to use an external upreser if you want to get the quality into 1080 or 4K. And for the number of seconds that you can generate, you can go all the way up to 12 seconds, which makes it one of the better AI video generators on the market in terms of the amount of time you can generate from a single video clip. By default, we're set to our 16 by 9 aspect ratio and you can go ahead and click that button to on next to the audio icon to make sure that the video clip generates audio whenever you hit generate. So everything's set up. Let's go ahead and hit generate. And it takes a couple minutes to get our video results. Let's take a look at what we got. So the background just randomly appeared there. The physics looked pretty nice, but it just couldn't get the background quite right. Let's take a look at a few other examples from other AI video generators to see how they do. So let's take a look at Google VO with the exact same first frame, last frame example. So Google VO did a, a weird dissolve between two shots there. So not what we're looking for. And then finally, here is the result from Clean 2.5, which is the model that allows you to interpolate between first frame and last frame 2.6 is the newest model, but you can't do first frame and last frame in 2.6. So let's take a quick look. Okay, not too bad. It was a little wonky there at the very beginning, but altogether it looks really good. And because you generated inside of Kling, the video was natively generated in 1080p. So you get a lot more of those crispy details. So I think Kling did a much better job for this quick example. Now I wanna do the exact same thing with a different test here. So I have this image of this woman, she's just really angry and I want her to yell. So I want to test the lip syncing capabilities of Seed Dance 1.5 Pro. So let's go ahead and drag and drop that character to our start frame and we'll get rid of that in frame here. And for our prompt, we'll say a handheld shot of a woman yelling, I hate you in quotation marks with anger in her face. And of course, we want to make sure our audio is on and go ahead and hit generate. And after a couple minutes, we have our video. Let's take a quick look. I hate you! <sighs> Not too bad. It definitely is overacting there at the end, but the lip sync and the way in which she delivers the line, it actually looks pretty realistic. So a pretty decent job from Seed Dance. Let's take a look at a few of the other video models that allow you to do lip syncing as well. So here's the result from Google Bio. 
I hate you. I hate, hate you. I hate you. I assist. Did she say I assist there at the end? I'm not too sure what she's talking about. Now, Google VO always has that problem where everything looks hyper sharpened around the edges. So you're always going to run into that when you're working inside of Google VO. Now, the part where she delivers the performance at the very beginning probably was best inside of Google VO. But again, as we're thinking about the entire shot, there was just some weird stuff going on with VO on top of the sharpness problem. So not the best result from Google VO. Let's take a look at one 2.6. Again, this is another Chinese model that released recently, and it does give you the ability to do lip syncing as well. I hate you. I hate you. What are you doing? <laughs> So no idea what's going on there. The performance felt very synthetic, not the best result from one. And of course we did the exact same thing in the new version of Kling 2.6. Let's take a look. I hate you. Okay. So it is interesting that it went out of focus there. That makes it feel a bit more lifelike. But of course, the delivery felt very, very robotic. That's one of the problems with the new version of Kling 2.6. A lot of times the audio behind the lip syncing is just very, very synthetic. So not the best result. So in this specific case, I actually do think Seed Dance Pro did a much better job. Now, I want to show you a few different examples of Seed Dance Pro in action here. So we have this shot of a woman riding down a street on a bike and when we animate it from a seat dance we get this video not too bad there is some warping on her face but it did a pretty good job. Now, for this next one, I really wanted to push it. So we have this reference image here of these guys basically in a boxing match, and I wanted to prompt in to see if I could have them talk to each other and then also start boxing. So I was very specific, and I said I wanted the man on the left to say, get ready to lose again, and the man on the right says, let's dance, Buttercup. And this was the result from Seed Dance. Get ready to lose again. Let's dance, Buttercup. <laughs> So the boxing is terrible, but the right people did say the line, right? So let's look at Google VO 3.1. Get ready to lose again. Let's dance, Buttercup. <laughs> again, terrible boxing, and the wrong person said the second line there. And let's take a look at Kling 2.6. Get ready to lose again. Let's dance, Buttercup. <laughs> it's like a rock and sock of robot. So again, Kling, it just struggles with making the voices sound realistic. It all just really comes across as very mechanical. So again, maybe Seed Dance actually did the best in this case as well. Now let's really push it here. So I have three characters talking and I basically wanted them to have a conversation where the boy says, did you know cotton candy isn't made of cotton? And one of the girls replies, really? What about elephant ears? So here's the result from Seed Dance. Did you know cotton candy isn't made of cotton? Really? Then what about elephant ears? <laughs> so terrible synthetic delivery. But technically speaking, it did follow our prompt, although I don't know why the, the girl on the right side just like decides to eat the cotton candy there. Kind of weird. Uh, here's the result from Kling. Did you know cotton candy isn't made of cotton? Really? Then what about elephant ears? <laughs> Lip syncing is just all over the place. So really terrible job from Kling. And here's the result from Google Via. Did you know cotton candy isn't made of cotton? Really? Then what about elephant ears? So it just has that really synthetic Google VO look when it comes to the lip sync again. Now, of course, it's always about iteration. It's probably not going to take you one shot to get what you're looking for. It's all about getting as many shots as possible. So let's fly through a few other quick examples here. So I have the shot of this puppy. I want the camera to slowly push near the puppy as he gets near the camera. And this is the result from Seed Dance. And it looks okay. There's definitely some parts that uh, are a little wonky there, but not too bad. Here's the shot from Kling. And that shot is great. I love the, the out of focus shot of the dog approaching the camera. It looks very, very realistic. So a great job from Kling there. Now let's take a look at this shot of this helicopter, you know, action shot, soldiers running to the camera. So here's the shot from Seed Dance. And that is basically completely unusable. So we have this other shot of a laboratory here. We want some green slime to appear between both of these people. Here's the result. 
It's alive. What have we done? Let's get out of here. <laughs> so maybe the first two or three seconds looked okay, but as soon as the lip syncing started, it got really, really weird there. We also have this guy in this hallway. I want him to go to one of the doors and open them. And we got this video here, which looks pretty realistic. And then the way he opens the door just doesn't look very good, right? We also have this shot of this man running in a 35 millimeter aesthetic here. And this is the result, which does actually look pretty darn good. There's some kind of strangeness happening with the cars there, but I think if you generated it a couple of times, you could get a really, really good result. So not too bad. We have this shot of the samurai walking in a forest. We got this video clip here. Again, not too shabby. It's not perfect, but I think if you generated it a couple of times, you could get something that you could use in a project. And then finally, we have this shot of this woman skydiving. And then the video result from Sea Dance Pro gave us this. Which again, it looks pretty good. Now, one of the limitations that I want to point out is the exposure problem. So this was true with the original version of Seed Dance. It's still true with Seed Dance 1.5 Pro. It likes to change the exposure of your video in the first half second. So if you take a look at this still here, this is the uploaded image and you can see that is the overall exposure and it's it's a little underexposed, but it's what we're looking for, right? But when we go ahead and click play here, you can see it makes it a little brighter. And that is true for most of the generations in Seed Dance. It's going to change the overall exposure of the frame that you upload. It's just kind of part of the limitations of working with the tool. Before we get going, I want to encourage you to like and subscribe. It helps us to continue to be the only major AI filmmaking channel that doesn't take sponsorship money. All right, let's get back to the video. Okay, so we generated these video clips, but they're in 720p. What do you do if you want a 4K video clip that you can use inside of a professional project? Well, to pull that off, you need to hop into Astra, which is an online platform by the people at Topaz. Now, Astra has a brand new video model called Precise 2 that allows you to up-res a video clip using artificial intelligence, and it'll stay very true to the original uploaded reference footage, but the cool thing is it will clean up any sort of distortion or grain that may be present inside of your video. So for example, here's our base video from Seed Dance 1.5 Pro, and you can see it looks pretty good, but the problem is there's just a lot of very bad banding elements in the background. There's a lot of distortion over her face. You really never could use this in a television or a film capacity. But if we take this video clip and drag and drop it into the Astra model, we can select precision and then make sure we select Starlight Precise 2, and then make sure we have the output resolution set to 4K. And from here, you can render out your clip. Now, rendering does take a while whenever you are using Precision 2, but in my opinion, it's worth it. So let's take a look at a few of our before and after examples here. So this was before. And this is after. And as you can see, there's just much more texturing on the skin. A lot of the banding and artifacting that was present in the original footage is not as present in this footage. It's still there, but not as bad. We also have that bicycle example. So again, this was the before in 720, and this is after we put it through Precision 2. So again, it's not perfect, but if we were saying that shooting at live action is a 10 out of 10, I would say that this is about a seven or an eight out of 10. So really not a bad result when you use Seed Dance in conjunction with Astra. Let's take a look at our final example here. So we have our skydiver and this is in 720p. It actually looks pretty good even in 720p, but let's try to clean this up here. We run it through precision two and this is what we get. And it looks very, very good. Now, of course it's not perfect. There's some hyper sharpening in the hair and there's a few details that are coming across as a little wonky, but compared to where we were even just a few months ago, this result from Seed Dance Pro is really, really nice. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Of course, you can learn more about the entire AI filmmaking workflow by visiting our courses over at Curious Refuge. We train artists at every major studio and in 172 countries. We would love to have you inside of the program. And as always, be sure to 
like and subscribe here on YouTube. It helps the channel a lot and you'll be the first one to know when the latest video tutorial or AI film news segment drops. Thank you so much for watching and best of luck with your projects.